Delaying pregnancy is a common choice, with over 20% of women waiting until they're 35 before trying for a family. Unfortunately, this means that some have simply left it too late. The development of the body clock test means that women can test their future fertility and then make informed decisions. As we've heard, more women are leaving it later to have a family. How does the body clock test work? Well, basically, as you get older, the number of eggs that are potentially available to be fertilised reduces. You've got your full lifetime supply whenever you're inside um, the mother's womb as a young female foetus. Um, and those egg numbers decline very rapidly throughout the whole of your life. They reckon that whenever you're in your 30s, there's about a 20% chance each month of getting pregnant. When you're 40, it drops to about 5%. And sadly, some people present with difficulties trying to conceive and aren't able to be helped even with treatments like IVF. And so what's really been needed for a long time is some way of actually gauging what your future fertility is or what your future ovarian reserve would be. I suppose these must vary because you hear of women that, that have babies into their 40s. Absolutely, and a lot of celebrities having babies in later life um, I think have lulled a lot of people into a false sense of security. It does happen, but the chances are very poor. The other thing is that different people's fertility drops at different rates. And so my suggestion is that for women who are over the age of 30, it really is worthwhile if you're thinking that you might want to have a baby in the future to have a test to find out what your ovarian reserve is, how long you've got left to try to plan for a baby. So myself, I'm 31. What would be the benefit of me knowing my ovarian reserves? If you had low levels of ovarian reserve, then you would have the option of either discussing with your current partner, pushing forward with trying for a baby when it may not have been something that you had planned in the near future, or if the time wasn't right, there's the opportunity to freeze your eggs, which effectively stops the clock. So what's involved with the test? Basically it involves having a blood test to measure a hormone called AMH, and the levels of AMH drop as your ovarian reserve drops. There's also an ultrasound scan done to assess the ovaries to actually look at the number of sort of premature eggs that are actually sitting in the periphery of the ovaries. So it's a scan and a blood test. As simple as that? As simple as that. Well, as a professional person myself, I do want a family one day, but certainly not at the moment. So I think this is something that, that I should do myself. Well, all we need to do is to take a blood sample from you today. We'll scan you in about a week's time when we have the results of the blood test back. And then we can go through your options. That's great, thanks. And so all I have to do now is wait for the results. Well, I'm pleased to say, Louisa, that it's a good result. The results of the AMH blood test came back with a level of 20, which is very good, which means that that suggests you've got good ovarian reserve. And the ultrasound scan was completely in keeping with that. So that means that if you decide to leave things for another year or so, that you'll have plenty of opportunity in the future to explore having a family when the time's right for you. Fantastic. I mean, is that just over the next couple of years? What should I do now? Ideally, you should probably check it every year. The idea being that we know that if you do that, you will always have at least about a year left, if not longer, to make plans. So what would happen if the results started to change and I'm, I feel like I'm not ready still? If you're not ready to try for a pregnancy at that point, the other option that you have then is to freeze your eggs. And that effectively is like putting money in the bank and it's something you can come back to at a later date when the time is right. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you.